Yo guys, what is going on? It's RSA back again with another video and today we are going to be driving this car. It's called the, I forgot the name for it already. It's called the Lycan Hypersport, yes. It was featured in Fast and Furious 7 and it's a great car so I thought um, of driving this. I've actually got the tuned version. I've bought this um, on an auction and it was already tuned so I'm going to drive the tuned version. It has about over a thousand horsepower. It's rapid. So let's, let me just show you around the car first and like how the car looks and all that so here we go so let's go straight on to upgrades so let's go to upgrades custom upgrade okay we can't update like i said i bought this from an auction um so let me just go on forza vision to show you around the car first of all this is the car this is how it looks like look at the lights it's got easy on headlights daytime running lights and all that as you can see it's got the forza bumper on the back and on the front, it's both. Um, it's got custom rims. It's got the Forza wheels for like better traction. But guys, this is the best part. Watch how you look at the engine. Look at that. You can see the engine, it flips up. And the doors are even better than Lamborghini butterfly doors. Just watch this. Look at that. They open like like a Rolls Royce, but like a butterfly, like scissors doors at the same time. And look at the front. It has a little boot at the front. Obviously, it's a super car. So let me just show you the inside of the car now. It just came with a yellow colour, it's just custom colour that it came with. It's not actually factory. This is actually been upgraded to a lot, so it's a lot of horsepower on here. See, that's why it doesn't let me upgrade anything. So let me just get inside the car. Okay, so now I'm inside the car, and as you can see, this is the interior. It's quite nice interior, I like it. And yeah, look at it, it's got uh, no panel switch because this is actually a manual gearbox. It doesn't even look like it's manual, it actually looks like it's automatic, but when you play the game, it's actually a manual gearbox, so it's quite good about the manual gearboxes, I prefer it myself. So these are the seats and everything, yeah, it's pretty simple, and the dashboard's while you drive on the road, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes. It's actually really futuristic, so I'll show you that right now, let me just get it on the road. Okay, here we are on the road right now, and yeah, let's give it some revs. You can hear that sound, look at that. That is quite loud for a car. Okay, I'm actually going to put it into manual so I feel like I'm actually driving it because if it's a manual car, I think that you should always drive your manual because it just seems better. So I'm going to put my foot on the clutch and just keep revving it now. Look at that, guys. Okay, now let's take it out on the road. Okay, I put it into second gear by accident. So let's quickly get to the road. Yeah, we're on the road now, and oh my god, I've drifted out already. As you can see, it's really powerful. I'm not even on a tarmac, and he just drifts out. Okay, so here we go. Well, let's test the speed on it first. Guys, look at that. It's on 60 miles an hour anyway. Already, not anyways. It's on 60 miles an hour already, now 100 miles an hour. Look at the handling. Whoa, see that? I'll just keep crashing it because it's too powerful. The I put the best brakes on it. The person I bought there had the best brakes. And yeah, look at that. Like I said, look at his manual watch you can see the guy change the gear. Every time I put the gear change, he changes gear. Like I said, it is a manual car, so yeah. Look at that. Oh my god. I thought I was about to crash there. Look at that guys. It's hit its top speed of about 215 miles an hour already. Normally it takes a long time for a car to hit the top speed, but look at that. Crashed it again. It's just an amazingly fast car. Look at that. Okay, let's let's try drifting this. You can probably hear me just changing the gears on my controller, just like, you have to keep changing the gear every second because it's just so powerful. Look, the spoiler slightly goes in the back, so let me slow it down and show you the spoiler come out. I think it comes in about 60 miles an hour. Okay, so, okay. So here's the spoiler now, if I want it to come out now, I just put my foot down and watch the spoiler, look at that. The spoiler just literally just comes out like a Lamborghini. The S3 doesn't have this, but and some Lamborghini do like the old Merge Lagos and all that. I keep forgetting to change gear because it's just too powerful. I'm thinking about normal cars because you don't change gear that often. Like from first to second you change gear fast. But after that it's quite, you know, a bit slow. But this car is just too rapid. Look at that guys. The handling is also really good, you can probably tell like I can go around just at such a high speed look at this. I can control the car no problem. I can go really close to this car, no problem at all. Look at that. I'm going in and out cars at 215 miles an hour. I'm going to around corners like, it, like you can see on the motorway right now. Or is this a dual carriageway? I'm not too sure. I'm going around here with no problem. Okay, I've lost the tone there. 
which is not the console, it's my fault for going at such a high speed. David just hit M4, just coming past. Okay, so this could be. Oh my god, I've crashed that already. Okay, let's slow down a bit now because we're on a ride back. Okay, let's try lifting this right here. Okay, we crashed that. Now let's just go around the back right here and then let's try drifting it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try drifting it around around about in manual. I've never drifted in manual. I have once, I'm not that I'm quite gonna drive in manual to be honest. Look at that. Okay now I'm gonna keep it back gear three now. Give it full revs. There we go. Oh it's so hard to drift this around the roundabout. Okay, I'm just trying to change gear like perfectly. I'm gonna give it a full rev, point to third. Okay, that doesn't make a difference. Okay, I just keep tapping the handbrake for me to actually, you know. Okay, now guys, it's literally impossible to actually do this and to actually do and just get around the roundabout. Let's try testing the top speed. I can't be bothered to go all the way back to the airport to test it. But this car hits this top speed pretty quick, so watch this. Look how quickly it hits it. Look at that, guys. Oh, oh, I don't want to hit. I don't want to crash it because I don't want to hit my top speed. Can we do this, guys? Oh, I was trying to go into 7th gear, there is no 7th gear because it's a manual gearbox and a lot of manual cars only go up to 6 gears maximum Okay, 2 to 15 miles an hour that we hit the speed ready Guys, you can see the brakes, how quickly you do like, how quickly when you put your brake on how quickly just the speed just goes down Okay, there we go, we don't want to crash this Okay, I'm going to try drifting around this corner right now Whoa It just loses control a lot because it's just too powerful I think it is four wheel drive, but let's just test the traction on it, like the launch control on how fast it is. Ready? Okay, let's... That's not a bad four car. That I know it's a lot of wheel spin, but still, it tracks pretty quickly after the wheel spin. It tracks over the road quickly after the wheel spin. So, four car that is this powerful, I don't think it's actually that bad. Okay, that's it. Like BMW. Is that the same car as me right in front of me? I think it is. No, it's not. It looked like my. What car is that? I think that is the same car as mine, no it's not, it's different. It looks like the like Hypersport, but it's not. Like I said before, this car was actually in the Fast and Furious movie, Fast and Furious 7. And it's one of the best cars that, um, they just jumped out of the building with this car, is brilliant. Okay, look at this for speed guys. I just came from the other side of the map to this side of the map so quick, and I had so much accident. You just saw how fast this car is. Look at that, I'm literally putting my full throttle along the car right now. Okay, we crashed that already. Into the lap hole. Oh, I did recall we crashed it again. Alright, let's put it into reverse. The gear changes are pretty quick for this on a manual car because if you had a power shift, the gear shift is like literally in half a second or even less than that. But with this car, it's literally, even though it's a manual gearbox, like a shift gearbox is pretty quick for that as well. Okay, so let's, tr let's change the little road how fast it can reach speed. I think it does no 60 in less than 3 seconds, it's gotta be. You could take part okay. in a street race. There's one about to start. Let's drift nearby. around here. Would you like Whoa. to set a route there for you? Let's see if we can drive this car from like zero miles an hour but in sixth gear. Okay, put a Look at that guys, it's in sixth gear and the car runs like it's normal. Look at that. Normal speed in sixth gear. So basically this car is so powerful that I can drive this car normal in sixth gear, like the whole way. I don't think we need to change gear, this is like, it becomes automatic, it's just that powerful, look at that. It's not as fast as it would be like when you play fully properly manual, but look at it, it's just, look at that, no problem at all. And it just drives around with no problem. There you go guys, look at that. This is actually one of my favourite um, cars in the game right now because I've had a lot of supercars. I've had the Lamborghini, standard Lamborghini Aventador, we like maxed out, it's pretty fast. Behind me, because I've had a lot of cars that are really fast to Ford. My car, because this is my favourite car at the moment, and my most favourite car, but a car that I had before this, which was my favourite, was the Ford GT, I think. The new Ford and um, the Ford supercar, like all the YouTubers getting them, like Shimi150 is getting it, and. It was one of the best cars I've ever bought because I modded it to the max and it would do 260 miles an hour. But for acceleration and handling, the car, the 
all the my points go to this car because it's just one of the best cars I've ever driven. And look at it, just I'm just 60, I'm not even changing gear now as you can see and let's see what happens if you put it from 6th gear to 1st gear from top speed so let's put it 5th gear ok so let's try putting this into 1st gear straight like soon as ok we have to watch this guys ok let's try putting this into 1st gear now Look at that, but it just drifts out because I think you put it the first gear from six is quicker than breaking. But if I put the simulation on this, I'm sure that my like tire tread will have went down my clutch and everything would have broke. But I think that, honestly, this guy should have made this car with panel shift. I don't mind manual, I like manual more than automatic because with like the stick shift, it just makes it feel like a proper race car driver. But if this car, a powerful car like this, needs to be a um, panel shift or gear change, is almost instant because then I think. If the gear changes are much more instant, then you can change the gears much quicker. And yeah, guys, this is my video on this car. If you want to see more videos in this car, me racing other people online, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, other than that, it's been RS. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also like this video. And let me know in the comments, like I said before, on what types of videos you want to see next. And other than that, it's been RS. And I'll catch you in my next video.